Good morning. How are you? Well, we had snow here, but it's a wet snow. And the trees that were white, you know, just a half hour ago, you know, are pretty clear right now. So uh, <laughs> I feel a little overdressed. I don't know how slippery it is out here, but it's a gorgeous day. This would be kind of spring skiing uh, if there was a slope nearby and I could get to it without going up in a lift with three other people. So uh, we've been taking care of our animals and one of uh, our class of animals is a bunch of silkies. I don't know if you know these birds. Kind of like chicks. And I think they must have been bred by humans because as they get older and not that older, the kind of fluffy beauty they have, it covers their eyes and they can't see anymore. And it's a condition I would say that the Republicans have. It's like they have genetically modified themselves to lack empathy, to have the scope to look at the Constitution and to see that part that says promote the general welfare. But more basic than that, they can't see the basic premise of our Constitution, which is uh, equality. All men are created equal and women. Our Constitution that had, you know, proportional slaves for purposes of rep representation. But all along the way, what was it about? It was about an ever perfecting democracy that we became more democratic over time, that slaves, persons of color, women, got the right to vote and therefore to choose our representatives, which is what a republic is, and to govern our nation. But because the Republicans lack apathy and because they are dominated by businessmen, sooner, sooner a camel will go through the eye of a needle, they can't get, assuredly, the popular vote. They can't persuade enough people that the aspect of their life that is business is enough. And uh, the aspect of being at war and fighting is enough. The aspect of police force is enough to garner the votes to be a dominant party. So they lie. Disinformation has increased dramatically in the last Oh, 10 years, even before Trump. But they always had deniability, and now they don't. All of this is, I guess, a prologue to what I hear the talking heads say, which is, hey, Democrats, why can't you get along with Republicans? Well, that's interesting. You know, can the deer get along with a raging lion? Uh, I don't know. The uh, we, we have these biblical provisions. But I, I think that we have to be on the same ideological page. That is, that if we Democrats deal with people, they have to agree that a component of government is promoting the general welfare. They have to agree that a democracy, not an autocracy, is in charge. They have to be people who witnessed an insurrection and disapprove of it. They have to be a people that see that you, you can't threaten the lives of leadership and be considered yourself worthy of leadership. Uh, and, and they don't see that. There are a couple of arguments that I've heard in recent days. You know, one is commentators saying, well, why, Democrats, aren't you going to get along with Republicans? Are you going to pass this bill that may save lots of Americans and not negotiate with Republicans? Negotiating with Republicans is they say, this is what we're going to do, agree with us or not. So are we doing the same thing? No, I don't think so. I think what we're doing is reflecting the representative aspect of government, that Democrats were voted in, in the way they were, with the narrow margins they have, because more of America, by the millions, believes that we have to take care of our own. And that we should do that, and the Republicans don't. And I've heard reports that followership in the Republican Party is dropping off. Could be a lot of different reasons. Could be demeanor, could be violence, could be the lack of apathy, uh, could be the trash talk they do. 
Uh, some say, well, things have changed since uh, January the 6th with Republicans. Actually, I think what happened was things did change for several days, but I don't think the Republicans perceive themselves as victims. Uh, that is, they think the public wants to get the Democrats for their foul belief in empathy and uh, democracy. And so as we go into the impeachment on this issue, uh, the Republicans are taking on water. They're suffering. And I don't know if it'll be reflected in the vote to convict or not, but they're playing a very dangerous game. And their answer is kind of twofold. One is, hey, you didn't give enough time in the House to impeach Trump. <clears throat> Those of you who follow law enforcement, maybe lawyers and so forth, no, there's actually a different standard uh, for a cop to arrest someone. Okay, it's a parallel. Bear with me. And it is that if they see the offense, then they can act on the spot and arrest. If not, they have to show probable cause to an impartial magistrate and then go forward that way. So what was the impeachment in the House? They saw it. They experienced it. They lived it. They saw it on camera. They had documents. There is no question in this earth that Trump incited to riot. You have to be in another dimension to think otherwise. <laughs> and that may be the Republicans. So how do they get around that? And they say, oh, not enough process. Well, BS. They also say, you know, Trump believed he was right. We've been over this before. It has to be an objective standard of not belief, of intent. What did he intend? And we know that he was doing this for days and days. So what are the Republicans going to do about impeachment? Well, uh, some will vote for impeachment more than the last time, and we'll see how that works. I know the question is, well, 17. But the answer is, it doesn't matter on one level. We are fighting for the soul and heart of America. We are going to make our case. And these people will consign to the dustbin of history whomever votes against it. That's it. That's the test. We now do what's right. They do what they think. And I believe it's wrong. And America is the better for the clarification. My greatest strength and weakness <laughs> is my clarity of expression. Now that the Democrats have enough to be able to exercise power and authority, they should do it. And they're doing it for the right reason. The Republican Party, on two levels, shows that it lacks empathy for the public and that it won't clean up its own house. And that failure uh, is best exemplified, perhaps, by Cheney. She's a powerhouse, and we may not disagree with her on very many things. But on the construction of the government, no question about it. So, as we uh, walk in my cathedral of trees, I hope that you get out today, because it's warmer than anybody expected, and, uh, and it's beautiful. Uh, so, talk to you again tomorrow. All the best. Bye-bye.